Now we're going to talk about color pickers and how to add a new swatch to the palette menu. You use the color pickers to create a custom style swatch. Um, now I might want to do this if I have a bead at home and I don't know what the product code is. I can replicate the look of it and create a, a swatch that's the same style. Or if you just want to start designing, you can create styles that you think will be ideal for your project and then match them to actual bead products later. I often do this if I don't have a set of colors at home. I'll, I'll make up a pattern with what I think is ideal and then match them to the real bead products later. So if I click on the active style bead here, it opens up a new menu and this is, this is the, called the color picker menu. If I want this to go away, I can click on another tool in the toolbar and it disappears. I can also open it by clicking the open color pickers button. And so here it is down here. Now what are these sliders? This is the hue slider and it doesn't look like much is happening. That's because the saturation is so low. Let's bring the saturation up a little bit and now you can see if you change the hue, that's what that does. You can change the saturation. Now it's taking the color out. Now it's adding a more saturated color. You can change the luminosity, turning it lighter and darker. So you can play around with those. These are the finishes. So this is a matte finish. This is semi-gloss. This is gloss. And then you can also I'll set that to matte so you can see a bit better. You can make it opaque, transparent, and transparent with an inside color. So you can use this, the sliders, the finish, the transparency, to set up a bead type that you like. And then once you've got a style that you like, you can click on this plus sign to add it to the palette. Or, I'll show you another example, you can, you've just got it there, you set the active style, I'll add beads to the canvas, and you can see it's added the swatch automatically. So you can see that there are no green beads on the canvas, but I still added it to the palette menu. And this one I didn't add to the palette menu, but it got added there automatically because I put beads on the canvas. One other thing I wanna note is that you see if you hover over it just as green, it does not give the, the description, the bead product number, the symbol. That's because I haven't added that information yet. And green, this is just a made up color. So the program has assigned it to be green and assigned it to be blue. But I'm gonna hold down shift and click and now I can edit the description. Um, I, can, I can give it a symbol, save the changes, and now you see that information is reflected. In another video, I'll talk about how to match these styles to an actual bead product. You can change the order of the swatches by clicking one and dragging it like that, and you'll see that it doesn't replace anything, it just swaps the order of them. One thing I do want to note is that you'll see that this is labeled A, the bead symbol A. If I move it down, it's still called A, so the program doesn't reassign the bead symbols. And this is a good thing, but I'm pointing it out because when you go to export your pattern as a PDF, you might want to reassign the bead symbols so they show up in order too, because your PDF is going to reflect the order that they show up here.